Welcome, 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 welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back. It is good to be back. Uh, I got a good one for you today. Uh, it was to be a one-sided beatdown in Caleb Plant versus Trevor McComey. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes out to you uh, for every single major fight. So you have consistently making betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. The link is in the description. It's also in that little ticker below. It's $5 a month. It gets you absolute best gambling advice in the boxing world. There is no one in the world better than me at this. Um, link is in the description. $5 a month. Join the Patreon. It's also in the ticker below. It's the lock of the week. The lock of the week has hit seven in a row. I've hit, I gave you two one week. I also gave you two locks this week. So we're looking to hit eight and nine in a row this week. And I think this is an easy money. So join the Patreon. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from uh, that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into this fight. Caleb Plant, uh, piston-like jab, front foot guy. Um, the front foot guy, front runner, gets off to a really quick start. Uh, he's done this all the way going back to the Porky Medina fight years ago. He gets out, he gets out in front. He takes a lead early in the fight. Then it slips away, slips away. He either gets stopped, he gets beat down, or he holds on. Uh, but he starts off fast, and he there's a reason for this. Is he doesn't commit to any of his shots. It's not even like he's a feather fisted guy. He's got a little bit of pop. Um, but he just doesn't, he does not commit to his shots. All he wants to do is be a slickster, a cutie, make you miss, make you miss, use his speed and athleticism and his defensive prowess. But eventually he gets hit and he gets broken down. And it's, it's, you know, I thought Breadman was going to be the guy that learned how to establish here, fight with your feet planted, you know, plant, no pun intended, plant your feet, fire shots, you know, we want you on the back foot. We want you moving, but there's certain times every fight where you're going to have to establish yourself. And he just doesn't seem to do that at all. Uh, but he's a good athlete, good bounce, good reflexes, good twitch. He pulls his punches. He gets a little quick with his punch. Doesn't really fully extend them and keep you at the end. A lot of slicksters try to do this. They pull their shots a little quick and they don't really keep you at the end of them. He doesn't keep you at the end of his punches. He pulls his shots a little, he pulls his punches a little short, a little quick with them. Super quick hands, though. Super quick hands. Uh, good combinations. Quick combinations. He's not a guy that really throws a lot of volume, uh, but he does throw in combinations. He just, you know, picks his spots for him and and, and throws a little three-punch combinations. Slips and rolls really well on the inside. He's a good athlete. Good movement. He's slippery on the inside. Can make you miss, make you miss. Um, Want to see more combinations and countering. Uh, low volume guy, like I said. But he places his shots and, and throws his shots. Accurately against Durrell, you watch it. You watch Durrell. I really think that's the, the fight that he that was his best performance. Um, he established himself. He got a knockout. That was as good as he's looked in any fight. I really believe that. Um, so I, I thought that's why I, I really thought that was the first fight he worked with Bredman. I really thought Bredman was going to be the guy to establish him, and, and he did not do it at all with Benavides. Uh, this McCombie fight's not going to show much. He, McComey is – if you could design a fighter on a video game for Caleb Plant to look good against, it would be Trevor McComey. He may get the stoppage. He, probably not, but he could. Depends on, on his attitude that day. Uh, you know, he's the guy that really only wants to be on the back foot, so he may not get the knockout. If he wants to get the knockout, he wants to push for the knockout, he will certainly get it. This guy is tailor-made for him. Uh, we're going to get into why. Uh, Trevor McComey, explosive offensive fighter. You know, starts fast as well. This is going to be an interesting start to the fight because Caleb Plant usually dictates range really well and controls the tempo of the fight early until you can time him, until he starts to slow down, and then you can beat him up. Um, but McCombie's not an explosive offensive fighter. He overthrows his shots He, he, he a bit. I mean, he, he overthrows everything, really. And he, when you do that, you telegraph shots. And it's for a guy like Caleb Plant, where he, you know, makes you miss and counters you, he's going to have a field day with him. He looks to uh, load up a lot. He gets wild and wide. Not – he's not he, – he, he, he doesn't look to set things up. 
He's not patient at all. He, there's no patience. There's no setting things up. He just starts throwing big shots, and he's physically strong, and he has some good pop. But it's not like world earth shattering, all world pop. He's got good pop. Um, he doesn't commit to his jab. He pours his jab out there. He telegraphs the shots, like I said. He does say on you. He's on you. He's 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 aggressive that way. He's, he's a not like that. He's not super skilled. He's not really good on the inside. He's physical with pop. Like that's that's all he is. He turned pro at seventeen. He really never developed. You can, you can if you can make him go backwards, you can have him. Now Caleb Plant, I don't think he's gonna make him go backwards, but if you could, you can have him. Uh, like I said, he's he's absolutely tailor made for Plant. I, I don't see him having anything for Plant. The only question is, does Plant want to knock him out? Does Plant just want to do what Plant does and you know, with a wide decision. My guess is he probably wants to win a wide decision, but there's a chance he can knock him out. So what I would do is I would stay away from Caleb Plant by stop. Is the good news? This is tough, man. Caleb Plant by decision. You know, I would just add this to my parlay. I would stay away from this. If Caleb Plant could knock him out if he wants to. I don't know that he wants to. Just put the one times bet on this. But you can put a one and a half times a bet on this. $150 bet will make you 1071. But, but what you can do with this, you want to take the over nine and a half. I it's probably gonna hit. Like I would tend to think that that that's gonna hit. But we're gonna find out. Like Caleb Plant could stop this guy easily. I, I just don't think he's he 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 has that in him and that he wants to. Caleb Plant's going to win this fight. So just add this to your parlay. Help it bring your parlay uh, down a little bit. I mean, you can make a little bit of money. It's minus 1,400. We're not getting rich on this, but you can make decent money on it. Uh, Caleb Plant, one and a half times bet on the money line, $150 bet, makes you $10.71. Uh, this is something to add to your parlay. Help bring your parlay uh, down just a little bit because this is easy, easy money. But the rest of this is tricky. I probably like the over nine and a half. The – stoppage or the I, I would lay off that you know if you, if you wanted to make another bet i would take over nine and a half but even that's rough because that's nine complete rounds and halfway into the tenth he may get him out before that too this is a complete mismatch so i don't love this fight but there it is uh there's a review for you guys there's how you can make some money let's add this to your parlay if you want all right uh, again, smash the like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, join the Patreon if you haven't. It is September 13th, uh, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.